So in the last part of the series, we left off being able to insert rows into our database. And in this part, what we're going to be doing is updating existing rows. So this way, if our crawler sees a website is already crawled, it's not going to insert a second row for it. It's just going to update the row it already has. So the way we do that is we first off just copy this. Because this is our insert statement, and we can just paste it up here, and we can change this to an update statement. So the only thing we need to change is this insert here, and we're going to change it to an update. So the way we do that is we say update index set and then here we just delete that and say title is equal to our title that we get from our array. Our description is equal to our description from the array. Our keywords are equal to our keywords from the array. Our URL and our URL hash, we shouldn't actually update because they are never going to change. But if we don't update them and, and essentially keep them the same, we're going to get an error because the number of parameters in our query won't match up with the number of parameters in our array. So we simply just say URL is equal to URL and URL hash is equal to URL hash. So this updates them, but it sets them to the same value they already have and it just prevents us getting an error. The next thing we need to do is delete this and we need to say where URL underscore hash is equal to URL hash. If we didn't have this where clause in here, what it would do is every time it, when it sees Google, it's going to update the entire index um, and change every title to Google, every URL to Google and every URL hash to this hash here. So let's just run this and if we run this now, the first thing I'll do is run it on an empty table. So we'll just empty this out. And we'll run this. And we'll stop that. So we should have enough websites in it. Now let's just refresh. You can see we have 10 rows in our database. So the first time this ran, there was no rows in the database. So every single query it ran was this insert. The next time, what it's going to do is update. And because we're updating it with the same information as in none of these websites have changed in the last 30 seconds, we're going to get the same thing again. But what we're not going to get is accidental rows inserted. So if we just run this again, we're going to let it run on a bit longer than last time. So we have a couple more rows so we can see some more inserts. So that's enough, uh, we'll stop that and we'll click browse. So now we have 22 rows in our database. And you can see they're all different rows. Uh, there's no duplicates or anything like that. And we look up here, there's no duplicates up here either. But you can see there's a slight problem here. Our URL has been changed to our URL underscore hash. So what we need to do is just check out why that's happening. So the reason that happened is because you can see we have two updates here for URL. We have one setting URL equal to URL and we have another one setting URL equal to URL underscore hash. So we just need to change that to URL underscore hash. And if we run this again, you can see last time that shows that our query actually worked. It was updating our uh, website. So what we're going to do is just run it again. Let's click browse again. That refresh the page and as you can see the URLs have been fixed. They've been updated to the correct URLs. So now we've actually inserted the rows into the database, it's time to retrieve them using our search engine. So if I just go down here, you can see this is the folder that holds our entire project. Our index page at the moment is our crawler and our search page is going to be our results page. We don't need pages.json anymore. And we don't need test.html anymore. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy index.php and I'm going to rename it to crawler.php. And index.php is going to be the index page of our search engine. It's going to be our landing page. So if we go back to our text editor, you can see we have now three files. Crawler is identical to index.php. It just seems better to call it crawler. And now we can change index.php and make it look more like our search engine. So I'm just going to call it high search. I'm just going to do a really simple layout. It's going to be a header um, and a text box and a search button.
So there's our very basic home page for our search engine. When we submit this form, what it'll do is it'll go to search.php. So if I say how code, you can see it goes to search.php. So we just need to change our method to get, and we will run this again. Type in how code or something like that. And now you can see we've passed how code to our search.php page. And now search.php can query the database based on um, whatever we send it. So finally on the search.php page, what we're going to do is connect to our database. So to do that, once again, we're going to use PDO, which is PHP data objects. And we're going to say PDO is equal to new PDO. We have three parameters. First one is MySQL, colon, we say host equals 127.0.0.1. And then we say DB name equals how search. Username is root and password we don't have one at the moment. So let's just refresh the page. And we get no errors, so that means that our connection has succeeded. So now what we're going to say is search is equal to the value that we send it from our form. So we're going to say get Q because if you look here, you can see we have Q equals how code and we want to get the value how code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say results equals PDO query select all from index. Then I'm going to say print underscore R results fetch all. So let's run this again. And you can see we get everything printed out of the database. So if I just add a pre-tag up here, you can see what has been returned is every website in our database. And if we scroll to the bottom, you can see there's 31 items. And in our database, if we click browse, there's 32 here. There's actually 32 items here because this is a PHP array that is starting from zero. So there's 32 items. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And the next video, what we'll be doing is completing the search engine, hopefully, and we'll be allowing the user to use add keywords and things like that because at the moment, uh, it's just returning every result from the database. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.